Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, ho! That's right, it's sunny, it's sunny. We're in Belgium. Watch out for bicycles is what I always say. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, yes, you are here with me. Ryan, thank you for tuning in. I got some goo on my screen. Nobody likes goo on the screen. Let's see if we can clean this up just a bit here. Well, that's okay. You're gonna get a little seasick on this one, so take your gravel. What are we doing? We're in beautiful, sunny Belgium. Does that sound funny, sunny Belgium? No, Belgium, very beautiful country. It's super warm today, I got my hoodie on, shit. I would have shorts on right now. Guido Madrusen's in the house. Guys, whoa, whoa! Serge Van Alsecker running right now for this Elite Pigeon Auctions. Yes, I will be at Serge this afternoon to do that wrap, wrap, wrap up show. You guys want super performance pigeons? What are you waiting for? Huh? Come on now. Good morning, Frank. Make sure you double flush. What's coming up behind me? How did that happen? Well, wiggle my ears and tickle my toes right here. I can't pronounce the name, but you can say D. Shoemaker, the Pigeon Center. Yes, that's where we are. We are here in Belgium, and I know I gotta keep it down. I'll tone it down a bit. I'm a little bit too loud. I'm excited. I had a great night yesterday at the awards. Man, people were, they needed wheelbarrows to carry out that shit. But anyways, here we are, the Pigeon Center. We're gonna go in, we're gonna take a look up and down the aisles. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We are the only auction site in the world to bring you all the good stuff, yes. We picked it up a notch. There you have it. Here's the front entrance. Hi. Hello. See, again, guys, you can be taping, and then you can get hit by a bicycle. So you don't want to get hit by a bicycle. But for you people who are wondering where the hell we are, this is where we are. A very narrow little driveway to get in here. You can actually, if you're not paying attention, and again, you're going to get hit by a guy with his pigeon book. Pigeon book. See, look. Look at the pigeon book right there. You see this? This is real shit, eh? I don't make this shit up. This shit happens. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, we're bringing it to you. We're the, the only auction site in the world that we get down, man. We got rid of the fancy pictures. Yeah, we have those too. But we get down, we get deeper. We find, we find it all. This is, I don't want to show Ricky this, but check this out. They got a, a storage little container here. Ricky, this is what I'm thinking for your car, my friend. A little LMR, guys. Give your shouts out to LMR. He's holding the fork down. We don't give him any love. But you know you're in Pigeon World when? When you're in Pigeon World. Check, check this out. This is the mural of murals, isn't it? Only thing this pigeon's missing is a little bit of war paint. But an absolute killer photo. I'd love to get a photo by this. Mike Sheridan, good morning. You guys have questions. You guys have comments. You guys have complaints. Or you have more comments, more questions. And a very few complaints you let me know. I'm gonna have to ask him why did they put the, this is the ring number. But here we are, we're starting, we're just gonna, we're just gonna tippy toe in nice and quiet. And you see as you come in here, very, very nice setup. They've got uh, all kinds going on here today. You can have a beer in there, you can buy pigeons. You see people are buying the pigeons. Hey, what's up, bud? Hello. And when you come in here, you've got all the old pictures. And it's a bit of a quiet day here. What time are you guys close today? Four? What time are you close? Uh, uh, three. Three. Uh-oh. We're running out of track, guys. We're running out of track, but that's okay. You're gonna come in here and you're gonna take a quick look around. They got all types of photos. Did you see it? You'll see some of these photos that we have put up. The trophies, everything. They got a little bar here. And again, more trophies. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. This is what we do. We bring it to you. Check this out. And then you can come through here and kind of do their little mini museum. And if you guys wondered, hey, for you people who couldn't get into the Jansen's living room, well, here you go. This is the living room right here. Right here. This is 
is the living room with the Jansen brothers. And then you can kind of go through and you look and you can listen, there's stories. And uh, for people wondering, hey, if you guys are wondering, you'll see some of these photos that we've taken pictures of. And where these baskets are to divide the wall, you can, you can take a look and they've got banders. as we take you through some clocks. But hey, if you guys wanna to listen to a really good story, check out this pigeon right here. And I already listened to the story, but if you look him up, look this pigeon up right here. Very interesting story. And look, there's each one of these a little different story. You come along and you look. I never got a photo of this, but uh, the flight feathers and the tail feathers. Again, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, we bring this to you. The Shoemaker Breeding Center. Here we are in Belgium. Did I ruin the name? Of course I did, that's what I do. All kinds of interesting stuff through here. Good morning, Carlos. Pigeons in war, as you see it. As you come through, you go outside, and you see they got people are there having drinks. Inside you can have food. Now let's say you want to go and do some shopping. You want to buy some pigeons. Hey, it's quite simple. You can do that. You can shop for pigeons here. Shit. We're going to go down and take a look. Let's take a look if you want to buy. It was packed here earlier. So pigeons here, you can handle them. You can see the families. All speed pigeons right here. The king of the speed. And then, you look. And there's youngsters. You see the people buying the pigeons. <laughs> yes, we will be at Serge Van Alsekers this afternoon. We're going to be doing a live, hopefully if the internet gods work with us, a live. All these pigeons, they're all for sale. Let's get Huskin Van Reels. Patrice. Jansen, Van Dyke, ourselves, Hooven. Again, you just pick up the pigeon, pick up the card, take it up front, and pay the bill. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I found two super pigeons right here in this, right here. This Van Loon and Albrecht, these two here, 12 out of 10 in my hands. These two are supers. Anik, what's going on? Rusin, Hormans, you see it. And all different price points. Also, they got, this is their elite. So these ones here in their elite breeding, you see 350 euro for the little blue. Both these reds are at 400 euro. Real pretty pigeon this is. Sorry, the lights are trippy. I know. But again, you see, you get a box, take them home. But you see it, Feathers Elite version, Pigeon Auctions, we bring it to you. I had a few people looking at that pie right there. Okay. Oh, yeah, hello. See, and you see they got the band numbers here, you get your card with them, pick them up, and away you go. You can handle, you can do what you wish. They 
look at, I found the nest mate right here. The pipe's a nest mate of this one. <laughs> There's the nest mate. Out of all the pigeons, you find the nest mates together. But you see people come and they pick out what they like. Van loons. Here. Youngsters without pedigree, 60 euros. There is the price. Without the pedigrees, without the pedigrees. So, you want to have some fun. And these babies have they've won, been picked through all day today. Van and Emil, stickabouts, you name it. They have it here. Ingles. So, so these are 60 euros, no pedigree. Correct? No, 35 without a pedigree. 35 without a pedigree, yeah. 60 with a pedigree. 60 or more. 60. You know, 75, 100, 150. Okay. Yeah. So 35, no pedigree. Yes. So if you wanted to come shopping here, 35 euros a pigeon, no pedigree. Just take your pick. And I'm going to tell you, they have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pigeons. <laughs> and I mean hundreds and hundreds and how many How many pigeons do you think you got here? Total? Yeah. Maybe around 12,000. 12,000 pigeons. They have 12,000 pigeons here. 12,000. That's one, two, zero, zero, and then add another zero. That's a pretty one right there. Ain't that a beauty? Hey, look at this one, a crest. So there's a little crest on the black pipe. Jan Arden, we got Koopman. As you see. People purchase and do what they want. 12,000 pigeons on hand. All right, now I can get more to my outdoor voice. See, when you're in indoor, you don't want to have a, in you got to have your indoor voice and you get your outdoor voice. If you guys want to know where they fly from. <coughs> there you go. They're flying up on the double stories there. You see the lofts are up here on the top. They had birds out when I got here. So I was waiting for my drone. But uh, you see, this is how they do it. Sounds like a pigeon mill. Uh, well, Michael, this is a, a kind of a historic place. You know, you can buy pigeons from all different families. And we're going to go check this out. They've got their elite. Always remember, hey, Leah, this one's for you. <laughs> H-O-K. <laughs> this is their elite loft. And you see, they have their pairs. Yes, these guys do race. This is, is a race loft as well. But you can see. Now, pigeons out of these ones here, the prices are going to go way, way up. And you guys will see, they got holding pens. A very busy place here. People wonder, holding, what do they feed when they hold their birds? This is a holding pen. There's your mix. Does their breeder mix look different? Yes, it does. There you go. That's the hold mix. And you can literally, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm going to show you how many pigeons are here, or how much, how much, uh, how much track there is here to cover. It has a hell of a lot of track. Remember right now running for this elite pigeon auction, Serge Van Alsecker. That's right, the middle distance machine of Belgium. And then we've got, well, <laughs> if you like results, results with no doubles, only firsts. Well, the man, the legend, Dennis Sapin. And here we go. You're going to go down these aisles, and it's just aisle after aisle of pigeons and pigeon lofts. So we'll show you the, the names, and you know you can't, you don't have to go down every uh, every aisle. But here, Van de Waller, we seen him yesterday, and you see the photos are in front. All the clean boxes. They got the self-cleaning perches. Let's see if I can get in there. And there is the breeding mix. <laughs> and if you guys wonder how they water, this is how they water through the front. 
and you just go down and it's aisle after aisle it's row after row there's the van dyke row and this is what you see in these rows it's row upon row it goes all the way over that way and i'm not gonna lie guys it goes all the way over this way there's over 12,000 pigeons here the van he vanden he right here and again you go left you go right you come down you take a look they're all cleaned out clean boxes okay you can see there's only uh, four pair in here four pair in this section with 12 boxes there's again oh, this 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 section's full but you go through you take a look and you see and they've all got these nice awnings to let sun now these lofts all face the south they all face the south here all the lofts so you see this is the north side this is the south so the pigeons are constantly getting sunlight and again you can come through you can go through almost every aisle here and you can take your look and you can see what you see and like what you like what is this place coming in late oh uh you are at uh, the shoemaker here this is where we are albrecht here we go this is where we are for people wondering we are in belgium now some aisles they have clothes you can't go through who knows why I don't really, it doesn't bother me, but you got Arden. And you know what's great about these pictures that you see here? So you see the picture of the, the owner, uh, of, of the, or the strain of pigeons. It gives you here, Jan Arden, 1893 to 1958. Imagine the shit that he's seen. Okay, shows where they're from. There's a little map here. Pigeons, what they specialized in, 800 to 1200 kilometers. And then it has a little write up here. And you know what's so great? Look what they did. They did it in, in Dutch, French, German, and English. Okay, so there you go. You see it. And each one, each one has these. So, you know, you come over to the next guy. Look at this old family right here. You guys know this, I'm sure. Good old Arthur's in the house. It shows you what part of Belgium. 600 to 1200 kilometers it gives you all the good information and then you come in and you see right you see the family of pigeons all reds <laughs> all reds so you come you look and i'll tell you guys i'll show you at the end where all the droppings go but it's just this whole this whole pen this whole pen is is for that and you see the sun look how the sun's worn on this Sun is a pretty powerful thing. As we look and we walk down and around and you see more and more and more, aisle after aisle, aisle after aisle, the Smith Matisse, you've got there as well. You see, and what's great is Antwerp, the distance, these pigeons here were all round pigeons, zero to 1200 kilometers. And these are all holding pens. Some are that are over. You guys are into the tiger grizzles. You take a look and take a look at what you see. <laughs> tiger grizzles, pigeons, you name it. It's here. But you can keep going up and down. Modern lofts as well. Angles. The gearings. I like to handle the gearings here. But again, you're going to see lots of, lots of war paint, I'm sure. Again, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, we're bringing it to you. And I can come down this side a bit, and you can just see rows upon rows upon rows. Look at the gearings there with the war paint. You see it all? The Smith Matisse, yes, David Tracy. And again, these aisles, and they go way over there. And you see they use, they have perches that they put up. They put, they hide, they, this is where they store the perches when they want to take them down. So we swing around here. What's going on, Hello. bud? And again, if you want to see a pigeon and you're interested, you get a guy that works here, you pick out the pigeon you like, you go get somebody and they'll pull them out for you so you can see them. Grandeliers, hey, maybe you're into the Grandeliers. 
You wondered, well, well what did Grandelier specialize in? There you go, 250 to 600 kilometers. That gives you some of the big name pigeons. And there you have it. Huskin, Van Riel, there's, it, they're two guys, eh? it's not a one guy team here. Now these normally, for Huskin Van Riel, I believe these were, uh, again, zero to 1200 kilometers. They look real, real nice. And I think the crested ones, the crests are further down in there, but that's okay. I can't show you everything. You gotta come here yourself and go for the tour. Oh, now look, for you people that want a Jansen, look, see? There they were. They look like pigeon flyers, don't they? Zero to 250 kilometers, a lot of right up on this one. Again, Antwerp, Arendonk, Belgium, and all the Jansons here. So, so you see those perches, how they just dropped them in? Looking for some Jan Ardens. Yes, I know, you're looking for Jan Ardens. They have it here. More and more. And sorry, guys, the wire's a little hard to look through, but... And their nest balls, they don't use no straw, they use all liners. It's all liners here. Again, you see the breeding mixes. These birds are all in breeding mode. And again, you got Jansons on the left. You got Jansons on this side. See? People are buying pigeons and picking up pigeons and shopping and looking. looks like the well, there you go and, and I'll wait till we get down to the, the bottom ones where all the babies are and you see there's just pigeons after pigeons after pigeons you can go through you can take a look you hear the babies squeak in there Rosen Muleman's you see it all Stick about. He looks like a guy I know with that weird looking little mustache, doesn't he? He's the new leader of the free world. Oh, let's see. These are real stick abouts. What color eyes do they have? Orange eyes and stick abouts. There you go. And there's rows, rows, and rows, and rows. Van Wanroy, Van Ennebeel. As we come along here, and I hope I've got photos of everything. Maybe I didn't get a... I don't see any of the yellow pigeons. I wonder where they are. Here's your... Here's your pigeon uh, pigeon transporter here for the war. Imagine what that thing's seen. Here you go, you got young bird holding pens. Again, all on full purchase. Young birds, young birds, young birds, young birds, young birds. And that goes all the way down. Again, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions right now. Hey, guys, you are on. Do me a favor and check out what we've got running at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Serge Van Alsecker, yes, of Belgium. The Middle Distance. Super God, Machine God. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. We got, who wants some, a little Icelandic maybe, eh? Look at, look at the grizzles. Don't bring Jay-Z here. You guys wonder, they got the grits. Okay, grits and water. Grits and water, everything is on a, on a self, uh, on a, uh, look at, 
look at it all. It's rammed, it's packed. <laughs> and look, this is the breed right here. They dedicate each one to the breeds. Oh, I never got a picture of this one, Lee. I'm gonna have to get that to you. There you go, whites that win. Specializing from zero to 450 kilometers. There are two strains of pigeons that were put together at the Shoemaker Center in the 1970s because of their white pigeons. Huh? These pigeons are medium to large type. So there you go. And again, it just goes on and on and on. It doesn't end, it can't stop, it doesn't stop, it won't stop. But when the guy says there's 12,000 pigeons here, there is 12,000 pigeons, we're not gonna lie. What do you guys think? Should I, should I pick a couple to bring home? Should I do some selections? What selections would you guys want? Huh, what selections are you guys thinking? But as you see, it just, it never ends. Reserve. These are all been purchased. These pigeons, I think. No, no. These are all breeding. Oh, look at the old guy there. Any nice one? Sharp looking pigeon right there. They're all on the graded floors. As we walk through here, people are having a good time. But there, this kind of gives you the. A pair of Jansons, Henry Ratter. Ah, you want a pair of Jansons? Okay, we got a pair of Jansons somebody wants. Henry, Henry Ratter. Now, do you want red ones or do you want non-red ones, Henry? <laughs> Let's see if I've missed some of your questions. I probably have. Uh, Dismit Matisse. Looking for some Jan Ardens. Uh, la, 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 Mike Parrish. Too many to choose from. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't know. I, I couldn't imagine coming through here to do to to choose. It would be a hell of a time. But you know what's really great is you you non reds. Well, the, the thing though that is great is it gives you a it gives you it gives you just a little information on where they raced again. Uh, their, you know, their, their distance and super pigeons. There's the 019, okay? DeLogger, again, <laughs> the old Mercs. Now it's kind of nice that they put all that information there. I think this is, this is pretty interesting. For people that say pigeon mill or, or whatever, however you say it, this is a great place to come and just take a look a little bit, you know? And, and everything is very cost efficient. What an awesome place. Yeah, Henry, you ever come to Belgium, you might want to come and take a look at it. But I think what they've done here, and I will be honest, for 12,000 pigeons, ladies and gentlemen, for 12,000 pigeons, is pretty damn healthy, I, I, I'm gonna say. You hear the music. When I'm walking up and down these aisles, you really don't smell pigeon. For this amount of pigeons in here, everything is wired. Birds, none of the birds ever stand in their own dropping, so that's good, and again, Look, there's lots that they're not using, okay? They've got to redo them or they'll use them at another time. I would go broke there. <laughs> well, yeah, it's hard, it's hard to go shopping. And you see if they want something closed off or you can't go in. Maybe these are new pairs, you can't go in and see them because you can see this guy here. This guy here doesn't want to be in there. He wants to go somewhere else. You can see it. <clears throat> Or they've got these nice gates put up, which is great. But I think, uh, oh, look at that mealy cock up there. Look at him. Oh, look at him. Look at him to the left, right there in that square. What a beauty, man. Oh, he's got the bronze on him. Shit. Oh, there's another cock up there. Oh, right up there in the top corner. Oh, no. It's just like I'm going to the candy shop. Get me out of here. I want to see that pigeon. I want to see that one. I'm a sucker. 
See, I shouldn't be here. I think they have done a beautiful job. They've done a super great job. And I mean, this is a lot to take care of and manage, but you've got the, the nice sun. The sun comes in on the pigeons. Uh, there's enough airflow rolling through. These tile roofs, they breathe great. They're peak ceilings. And you know, again, as I tell you, you see up here in the, in the ceiling, everything breathes up through the top. Oh boy, there's another nice mealy. Oh no. Oh no, hold on, it's hard to see here. This bloody wire, wire's a pain. Sorry guys, sorry I can't get to get in and see more. Also there, yes, but yeah, you see it. The way they've designed this, what a great idea. I wonder how they came up with this idea, but uh, what a great place to have it here in Belgium. And obviously they're doing renos. So you see, you see in some of these lofts, they've got the automatic cleaning boxes, the floor grates, okay? Again, feed, water, the grits, the pick stones, okay? But all the birds, all the birds on the breeding mix, that's the breeding mix right there. I mean, I handled the babies. Very nice, good feather on them all. And again, hey, you gotta ask, do they bathe their pigeons? Isn't that a question? Look at the bath trays. So I know they bathe them. I don't have to ask, I know they bathe. Well, these are bigger wires. So let's see when you get into here. And you see, they got the little, the little cards up on the top so they know who's who and what's what. Look at little youngsters there starting to run around on the floor. Probably in a week or so, they'll be, they'll be open for sale. There you see it. Again, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, Serge Van Alsacker, Dennis Sapin, running right now. All bids are in Canadian dollars. That's right, guys. You're going to miss the boat on this one. Serge Van Alsacker, take a look at what he... You tell me what he has at one. Okay? You tell me what he has at one. But great, great job. There's the race loss right here in front of you. Yes, they do race here. And they've got their elite breeders. And... Uh, as you see, they put this on here. See, Leah, this is the open house, I'm thinking. Maybe here's the spot. Um, they got the race lofts up on the top, which is nice. We'll show you a little more. What can I say? And as you see, they just... Again, people buy, buy, buy. Go shopping, shop to your heart's content. As you see, you come, and it's still not over. They still got more stuff, and I'll show you a little bit more here. Come on, let's keep going. But they've got the little museum in there, which is super good. Guys, I recommend, if you come to Belgium, come on down. Hey, enjoy yourself, be a kid again. All good, all good pigeon places. Jupler. Okay, now you see the back of this building right here? There's more pigeon stuff, man. Come on, we're not done. More pigeon stuff, more pigeon stuff, more pigeon stuff. Look at the lofts, you see more lofts here? This is, this is where I wanna fly, right here, Leah, right here. I need to just do a little Remodeling, but more pigeon lofts up there, up on the top rope. Are they hiring? Henry, I don't know if you want to work here, bud. But you see the size of this. This is the second second deck. I don't. They don't keep pigeons up here anymore. But boy, I'd love to have this. I have to find out if I'm in the right zone here. But hey, for people wondering, where do the droppings go? Okay, so yes, they have more lofts right here. More holding lofts, okay? You see it? You see right down in there? So, and it just keeps going, going, going. But that's where you keep the droppings. You wanna keep 12,000 pigeons of droppings, that's where it's gonna go. Again, lots of fun. 
you see the pigeon here from the outside so for you people wondering hey you want to come to Belgium you want something to do come on down here I don't think you'll be disappointed again they have all, at all different price points old families new families modern families the elite families that's pretty cool and I'm gonna tell you whoever painted that did a and bang up job So what did you guys think of this, huh? Now that you guys got the little tour, and they're closing here around three o'clock, so you know what, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say that was excellent. Yesterday was super awesome being at the awards there, the KDBD awards. It's still going on there today, more awards. Remember, they got to, uh, they got to give two years worth of awards away at once. <clears throat> So I decided to come up here this morning. The, uh, this afternoon, early evening for me, I will be with Serge Van Alsecker. We're gonna go through those seven super lots, those seven super lots. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't know what you're waiting for. The, the, those are super pigeons. I think all seven are, are built like absolute machines, but we're gonna talk with Serge tonight. I am gonna come around this side here because they have parking here, more parking. I parked in obviously the wrong spot, but if you do come, this is where their parking is. And you just see the old loss out in the front. Oops, sorry about that, bud. And those are look all old lofts that they don't use anymore. But pretty uh, pretty awesome. Oh, they still got pigeons there. They still got pigeons in them. There you go. You see the lofts, you see the peaks, you see the the poor neighbors. If you're the neighbors, you gotta love the sound of, of cooing pigeons. But you see these roads are super narrow here. You forgot to sample a bag a, a bag at Ecker's booth. Sample a bag at Ecker's booth. I don't know, Mike. I'm not sure. But you see these people that come out with their little boxes, man? They're like little box baskets. Happy, happy shoppers. Drag your significant other with you and shop till you drop. And every weekend they do this here. They got this tent up. You can come in. You get a food st ticket. And uh, uh, you go. So, I mean, I think this was a great time. I enjoyed it. Actually, I enjoyed it this time a little bit better because it was... Super nice and sunny and warm. You know, I gotta thank uh, this place here very much for allowing us to film. The bag you got from the com oh yeah, the, the bag yeah. Let's uh, you want to see? All right, let's. I'll show you what we got from Common here. Hold on. Uno momento. Uh, let's see what. Let's see what Daddy got here in the old tickle trunk. Hold on. Hold on. There's a couple things here three or four things number one that's the first there you go and I gotta thank Comet that's the first product this is the parasite powder it's the second one up And third product, powerful muscle. There you go. See, guys, you go to these booths. They like what you do. They take care of you, which I'm super grateful for. And there's one other product. I don't want to be an asshole. <clears throat> I want to make sure I find it. I put it on the, obviously, on the floor of my truck. Here it is, the last one. One mix, all in one. So these are the three, pro uh, four products. There you go. So, we got these two. These are the first two. And these are the second two that we got. I want to thank them for taking the time to give them to me. And yes, and exactly what I said. These lofts that were right over here, they are holding lofts. So, uh, 
obviously if you purchase a pigeon they go into the holding loft I did some drone footage here today which is good and also I noticed uh, when you get these products the cap the cap has a measure on it that's very helpful you know I really enjoyed that Comet booth I thought it was good uh, you know I really liked it that the guy had full of information you know the, the, the creator was there so he knows all the uh, not the chemicals he knows all the products that go into everything the formula he's the chef he's the doctor he's the mixologist that's good it's like going to a bar you know when I whenever I go to Kentucky I go to these bourbon bars and they're like they're not bartenders they're mixologists and they know exactly what to use I've used this thought my all right good job David Tracy does it work good you enjoy it Again, he did say uh, they took this product into the U.S. and it exploded that exact product. So I'll, I'll uh, I will say it probably did work really well. But uh, you know, just a fun, interesting day. And you see the pigeon lofts here. I mean, there's just pigeon lofts on top of pigeon lofts. And uh, you know, another cool thing here. I'd love to get one of those. There's a. A pigeon weather vane and you see the lofts are up on the top but yes guys they race out of the top and there you have it the, the pigeon weather main Dean McGee McKee what's up so I think on that note it was a pretty fun little uh, little Sunday morning I couldn't have asked for better weather and uh, yes again we're gonna close tonight with uh, Serge Van Alsecker. Tomorrow I will be uh, visiting the loft of Eddie Grugens and uh, I had a great time last night meeting a lot of people. Eggy Varek, super time. Uh, Stefan Bergman, super time. It was all good. Lots of fun here. What else can I say? We crushed it. We gripped it. We ripped it. The show's over. By the way, guys, tune in tonight. We're going to be on Belgium time between 5 and 6 p.m. So that'll be between 11 and 12 Eastern Standard Northern Pacific time or New York time or Toronto time or uh, Montreal time. You guys pick the time you want to tune in. Hey, all of our shit gets rebroadcasted on, uh, on the, uh, the YouTube, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Brothers Elite Pigeon Auction, subscribe. That's all we ask you to do is subscribe and share, subscribe and share, subscribe and share. Right? We want to get 100,000 subscribers. When we get that 100,000 subscribers, we got a very special giveaway we're going to give. I can't tell you what it is, but we're a long ways away from 100,000 subscribers. But hey, guys, in this pigeon sport, if we want it to grow, we got to keep sharing, keep sending, keep subscribing, and keep growing. Remember, the sport is dying. There's only one way we're going to fix it. That's you and me, me and you, and all of us work together. Again, guys, let's stop the hating. Anybody who hates me, you're allowed to hate me, but you're all welcome to fly with us here at the Pioneer. Play at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Guys, the sky has no limits. Neither should you. Think outside the box is what I say. Hey, inch by inch, brick by brick, mile by mile, the haters are going to hate, the lovers are going to love, and guess what? I'll be on both sides. Welcome, guys. Enjoy. Thanks for flying with me, Belgium, the shoemaker, super fun. You guys know, daddy always brings it to you. Thanks for flying with me, guys. Adios.